Hey, welcome back to Beyond the Screen Outdoors. Um, today I want to talk about another rifle that I use a lot for coyote hunting. It's a little bit heavier, uh, does an amazing job though. That's the Ruger Precision. This one's also in 6.5 Creedmoor. Really like that caliber, I've had really good luck with it. Um, I've taken this one out to a thousand yards. Uh, Kenley, he's put this on target at a thousand yards as well. Um, we were shooting a 14 inch steel plate at a thousand and anyway so does really well one of the things that I changed on this uh, Ruger Precision is the barrel I put the proof research barrel on there uh, this is the silencer cone muzzle brake so that I can put my suppressor on there to start it on the outside just adding this proof research barrel took about two pounds off of this gun uh, it's still fairly heavy especially with the Night Force NXS uh, with this Burris mount. The Burris mount's a little bit heavier uh, than what I wanted, but it's the quick detach, which was what I was looking for, and that's what I was able to find at the time. So, Ruger Precision's great gun. It's a chassis system. Everything's free floated. It's very uh, same controls as an AR for your safety and everything. The stock is collapsible. So then your bolt uh, comes out the back. The thing that I like about what Ruger did is they made this so that you can, uh, your stock, so you can change it out with uh, similar AR style stocks if you want to make that change. They made theirs very adjustable, uh, the cheek rest. You can go take the length of pull uh, by adjusting this. They got the pistol grip, did the same thing there. You're able to take this pistol grip off, put any pistol grip on that'll fit an AR-15 style frame. Um, their trigger is adjustable. Very nice trigger. Uh, super light. Guess I better take it off safety. Um, hold on, let me grab my trigger pull gauge and I will tell you exactly what it is. So, uh, again, I'm using the Lyman trigger pull gauge that I got from uh, Brownells. One of these days I will remember to have it out before I start the video. That one didn't even register. One point three pounds. Do it one more time. One point four seven. So, like I said, super light trigger. Uh, really nice for that long distance shooting. This is this gun has been consistent. Um, Kyle's four or five hundred yards. I I really don't have any concern with. The farthest that I have shot a coyote with this gun is 820 yards. Um, definitely a lot of luck in that as well, but this gun will will do it. It's usually my fault as the operator that if something fails. Um, this Night Force scope, it also has that MOAR reticle like the SHV that I've got on the Christiansen arms. Um, I really like that reticle. I like the open turret style adjustment. If I've got time, if that coyote's kind of set up, or for when I'm target shooting, whatever, being able to dial up really makes a difference. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention about this proof research is I went a little bit shorter than the standard barrel that comes on the Ruger Precision. And so um, I had sighted it in, and I was shooting a thousand yards. I had my adjustments and everything set, and when I made that switch, with this, this barrel I think is two inches shorter than uh, the standard. Just that two inches uh, changed my adjustments by about four and a half MOA. So to hit a thousand yards I had to go up four and a half MOA extra over what I was shooting with the standard barrel. Um, but like I said, give me that extra two pounds off. It really has been a great gun. Done a lot of shooting with it, put a lot of rounds through it. Uh, close close to 600 rounds I would say through this one um, functions great everything runs great 
I have not had one single issue or complaint about this rifle or the optic. Um, I, I really like it, really enjoy it. Very similar style to the AR, similar style to the AR rails, but the Picatinny style, it is able to mount. Um, typically here I have a sling swivel that I can attach and then I've got the longer one here so that I can actually run a light off of the bottom if I need to uh, for you know doing a little bit of night hunting or whatever calling coyotes we don't have any of that footage up yet on our channel but we'll try to get some up here in the next little while we've just been super busy but we appreciate you guys hanging around we appreciate you watching our videos um, like and following just keep watching we'll keep putting out content and we'll Catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks.